for the clock of A, which is at node 9. Add on top of them the trace for the output of B, which is from available from node 5. And on top of that, the trace, the clock we use to represent B, which is node 10. Now, we begin to make sense now that the manually designed fully produces this resulting inverted of the clock. The one produce, the inverted output produced by auto-generating the CMOS transistor is much better compared to the manually designed. One prob probable cause of that is, might be the sizes, the width, the thickness, the width, the sizes of the transistor, PMOS, NMOS, and the parasitic capacitances. Notice the handmade inverter layout is much thicker and wider than the auto-generated transistor right here. One way to see that is to view, to invoke the cross-sectional view. So let us cut through, let us say, through this line here. So being a top view, if we pass this line, cut through it, it will give us a sectional view right there. So the metal layer, metal one, a bio hole is open up to make a contact to one side of the PMOS transistor. This is the polysilicon gate. The other side of that, right now, the way we cut it through, we don't have any connection. The other side, this is the contact. So if you go across here, you will see the contact on that side. That's probably one reason, the thickness. Let's compare that with the, the one automatically generated by the library. They are much smaller, thinner, and you can look at the thickness dimension shown on the right hand side. Let's see if we can compare it. Pretty hard to tell. So going back to the beginning, it appeared therefore to us that the best way to design an IC chip physical layout is to use as much as possible the automatic, automatic approach because it rely on the available library cell. And each one of those has been optimized, otherwise they will not put it there. So only on the strictest condition where you have invented or developed a very, very efficient transistor implementation of the circuitry then you can manually create your layout and make it as small as possible acceptable to your technology. Well, in MicroWin, when you select the boundary, it will, you can select one of the available in the tools. Now, the, techno, the foundry is CMOS 12, 012, 018, 025, 35, 06, 08, the one we're using is 0, 012, 0, 050, uh, no 0, 050, 70, 90, and so forth. The one we're using in our example is the 0, 012. By looking at the spice code right here, point 0.12 here and six metal. That is probably one reason why the automatically generated transistor is much more efficient and faster.